I'm reviewing footage of my van in my van on the TV and not the little screen on the camera. All right, today's video, still working on my filming game. Got this camera a couple of weeks ago and I did a walk around of my Z06 and my Abarth with it. And what I noticed when I walk around my vehicle is the stabilization. So I wanna work on steadying my shot so what I'm going to do now is do a walk around of my van. Most of you are here for my van, so I'm going to film my van today. This is being filmed with the camera I've been using the past year, Kodak Pix Pro. $62. You could find it at any Walmart. And it's a windy day. So you're probably hearing wind noise right now, a lot of it. So a quick walk around here. Yeah, most of you guys are here for the van stuff. So got to test out the new equipment, filming my van. I think this camera does a smoother walk around than my new camera because of the way you hold it and that's why I got the stabilizer for my new camera. I did the first walk around with this camera and this is a camera I've been using for the past year. Now I'm using my new camera. I'm not using the microphone right now, but when I do the walk around of my van right now, then I'll turn on the mic to block out the wind noise. The mic kind of muffles the sound a little bit, but it does block out the wind noise. So this is a 1080p, 60 frames per second. 1080p, 60 frames per second. My new camera and no stabilizer grip so I think the traditional digital camera does a smoother walk around because of the way you hold it this one you're kind of holding it from the side cleaned my van last week I did polish up the chrome bits for this video for presentation but overall the van is still pretty clean Yeah, I noticed when I did the walk around of my Z06, it was really shaky, especially in a 4K mode, 30 frames per second. Then I was told that I should do 1080p, 60 frames per second, and it would be smoother and probably look the same since people don't view stuff in 4K, and I agree. 1080p, 60 frames per second is the way to go. So this is no stabilizer grip, then we're going to try the stabilizer grip out. See if it was worth the $16. Here's the stabilizer grip installed, which I didn't opt for when I bought my camera. It would have been $10 extra. Now that I bought it separately, it was $16, so I could have saved $6, but let's see if it's even worth it. Using the stabilizer grip. Every time I do a video like this, I go as smooth as I can. After this, I'll review it and see if this grip is even worth it. It's important that I learn how to stabilize my videos because I got a lot of plans for the future. I plan on getting a geo tracker in the next six months 
and when I get that thing there's gonna be a lot of videos of it so I want to get my videos as nice as possible and I'm gonna continue making videos about this van so I do want to improve what I'm doing here yeah I feel like this isn't I feel like this isn't helping at all <laughs> we'll see I'm reviewing footage of my van in my van on the TV and not the little screen on the camera so reviewing the footage the stabilizer isn't worth it I'm going to fill my van using the tripod instead and show you guys how much better just using a tripod is to keep a stable shot I do like this camera a lot you could see the little V10 logo even though it's far away it's super clear really happy with this camera so yeah the stabilizer grip is not recommended unless you want to look artsy and you want to take artsy pictures with coffee for Instagram the camera's on the tripod and of course it's going to be a totally steady shot and that's why I got a tripod I noticed in my video sometimes I'm just standing in one place talking and just standing in one place trying to keep it steady the camera's still shaking a little bit so I got this to do totally steady shots so I could just pick up the whole tripod and use this as a stabilizer instead so I'm looking through the screen as I film my van and it's still gonna be somewhat shaky but here's when I find an angle we'll use this quarter angle right here and I'll just set the tripod down and then there you go we're steady again if you're a regular on my channel I've been talking about wanting to get a geo tracker that's my goal to get a geo tracker next and when I get one I'm gonna do a lot of videos so now I got this nicer camera I got a tripod so I'll be able to film it nicely and I'm not nearly done filming my van I still got a lot of plans with my van so we'll pick this straight up shot right now so many more adventures to go still got to get a rear locker for it and I'm gonna still take this thing out to the desert and I'm gonna tow my geo tracker when I get it I'm taking a geo tracker with me so let's walk around like this yeah, just holding the tripod from the side I think this is looking smoother than the stabilizer honestly so you know when you take a step of course it's gonna bounce up and down a little bit but let's go for a quarter rear shot of the van let's go around real quick yeah I'm really looking forward to my camping videos now this camera is so much nicer than the other one in terms of quality that the surrounding areas look really good I always felt my old camera featured vehicles pretty decently but now looking at the footage the surrounding the surrounding area on my other camera is really blurry so there you go there's a rear corner angle right there on the tripod so yeah that's how I'm gonna film now I'm just gonna keep my camera on the tripod and then this has a quick release like I showed you earlier so I'm just gonna take this off of the tripod see I don't have to uh, unscrew it the whole part the whole piece just comes out so if I do decide to you know take a closer shot I could just pull it right off the tripod So let's do this. I noticed I could see this when I was looking at the footage through my TV. So I like little details like that, even though I'm like somewhat far away right now, you could probably see the V10 emblem. 
And there's a tripod right there. One more shot looking around here. All right, so there you go. There's my uh, operation as it's being ran now. And then I can just set this back on the tripod. There you go. Be sure to tune in next week. I have an extremely exciting video planned for my van. I use a lot of paper towels and I'm going to install a paper towel holder to give my van more of a wannabe RV look. <laughs>